Have you ever heard someone use the words of Scripture as a weapon to attack another person? Today's passage is a favorite of those who like to weaponize the Bible. As far as I can tell, Jesus never attacked a human being. He criticized bad behavior, and he attacked injustice and oppression. But Jesus knew and understood that every human being is created in God's image and worthy of God's love and respect. But Jesus also knew that the words of Sirach were quite true that we heard in our first reading. God has given us an incredible gift of choice. And within our reach is fire or water. And we get to choose which we grab, which we grasp. And so today's passage, particularly the section about divorce, has been used by people who weaponize scripture to attack people for things that have happened in their lives. And to do that is to misread this passage and its context. In this culture, Jesus' culture, men were in charge. Men called all the shots. Women were the property of men. And men were behaving badly. Men could say, I'm done with you. And a woman would be left with no resources, no ability to sustain herself. The repercussion of a man making a decision saying, be gone, I divorce you, had huge social implications for the woman that he divorced, for their children, for the society as a whole. So Jesus is talking here about the thing that he said in last week's gospel. We're to be salt and light. And we are salt and light. But you know, salt, when it's used appropriately, can flavor things wonderfully. But if you dump salt on something, it's nasty. It makes you ill. You can't eat it. And so Jesus is talking about the choices when we're salt, when we dump salt on people and dump salt on situations. And instead of flavoring and making the world better, we make it toxic and noxious and painful for people to live in. This week, this congregation was salt in the best sense of the word. When Jesus talks about being salt and light for the world, he really is talking about finding ways in which we change the dynamic of the world around us. This morning, when I got up, I had a notice on my phone that Portsmouth Volunteers for the Homeless had made a post about St. John's Church and tagged us in it. It's an amazing post. And I think it's worth sharing with each of you. Posted first is a valentine. And in the valentine it says, Thank you to St. John's Episcopal Church, February 14th, 2020, Valentine's Day, temperature 27 degrees, 44 souls, sheltered, fed, warm, celebrated, loved. Now that was just the picture, but before I read the post, I want you to envision something. Imagine that you've been out all day long in the cold, and you come for another night of shelter. And when you walk in to Chisholm Hall, something is very, very different. First of all, the entire place 
is lit in candlelight. It's a linen tablecloth on every table, china dishes, real silverware, real glassware. <coughs> on one side of the room is a cello and a violin playing beautiful music. You're met by a maitre d' in white and black with a black bow tie who greets you warmly and who says, where would you like to sit? It takes you to your table. At each table are two waitstaff members, each in white and black, waiting to attend to your every desire. The guests that came to St. John's on Valentine's night, that's what they saw and experienced. And a post from Portsmouth Volunteers for the Homeless picks up from there. Thank you to the team at St. John's Church, Portsmouth, Virginia. You loved up on our guests beyond measure this past week, and your Valentine's Day celebration was one for the record. A five-star experience that went beyond need and let our guests experience things that many of us take for granted. Dinner. And they bullet pointed these with Valentine's Day hearts. Cheese and crackers. Shrimp cocktail. Beef tenderloin cooked to order. Broccoli and cheese casserole. Twice baked potato. Strawberry pretzel cheesecake, banana punch. An exquisite menu, accompanied by a violin and cello serenade, and served with love by your volunteer wait team. Thank you so much. Hashtag Team PVH. Hashtag Lifting Hearts. Lifting. this world with God's dream for us.